right, right here we got the Vegas 24.1. I guess I'll start with a quick um, roundabout on the outside here. If you're not familiar with the Vegas, essentially it is a cross between a Class C and a Class A. Um, it is technically a Class A, but it is on a Class C chassis. So I guess the biggest differentiation between um, this unit and a Class C is if you look at the Class C's kind of back here in the line, they've all got that bunk over cab, they've all got the, the hood up front, uh, the classic truck front end on it, shall we say, and this one clearly doesn't have that. It's got more of a Class A look, but it is on, like I said, the Class C chassis, which is technically a few inches wider than a Class A. So it'll give you a little bit more stability. Um, the one thing you're going to miss out on this one then is going to be obviously your pass-through underneath storage. You do have some of it, decent amount, but it's not like your typical Class A where you got storage compartments everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see that or if the sun's too bright. You do have a little backup camera. This one is used. The camera still looks like it's got its little pull tab on it, so I know this one's been used very, very little does have a generator um, this is the HD graphics on the outside so essentially if you cut and scratch this it's gonna be the same color throughout don't have to worry about you know a lot of scratches noticing obviously if you cut a decal it's gonna be a decal you're gonna notice it there's a TV in here outside speakers awning up top with an LED light strip on it I guess it will zip on in screen door right there two-step entry well technically three so this is your biggest difference between the class C and the class A units so this one two swivel chairs they both spin around to become part of your living space but you don't have the the typical class C front end you're gonna get you know the workstation you get in the bigger class A's get the bigger window um, shade up front, obviously pull curtains on the side, screens on the windows, all that kind of stuff. This one does um, have heated power mirrors as well. Going to have a big infotainment center there. Um, spinning around, I guess before I go too far, there is a table mount here. And there will be mounts over there for in front of your couch. So if you spin around, obviously you got your couch, you got some storage cup holders on either side here got your stove got your microwave up top here convection oven because it does not have an oven so it gives you some more storage space nice big sink obviously pull down handle TV opposite the couch kind of your control panel here this one does have a up and down bed it is actually right here so this will go up and down on tracks it'll come down to about right there and you can put about a 250 pound uh, load up there as well this one's got a power vent fan up top led lighting throughout let me see if i can get into some of these cabinets big lot of room for storage get your fridge get your freezer big mirrored wardrobe there's your two tables, you got your leg posts, obviously hanging storage. Um, the fact that they give you somewhere to lock these things away now is 100 times better than the old way. Nice solid clasps. There is a pull through, what do they call these, almost like a mini blind kind of a thing to separate. Stereo in the rear for your bedroom. Get your thermostat, charging center. Looks like they got all their controllers kind of set in there. Obviously storage throughout. There's another fan back here. I do believe they got covers on these ones as well, so that was an after the fact thing. Speakers, obviously rear windows. This is a unit that's got the option to have two two twin beds or one huge giant king. Um, there is a TV back here as well. So if you're laying down, you can kind of sit down and watch TV. Um, one of the most interesting things about this unit is going to be the bathroom, just because it does open up so large it's got magnets up there <coughs> excuse me so when you got your bathroom I mean now this whole thing is closed off it's huge I mean, you've got a sink right in here you've got your medicine cabinet you've got your shower 
skylight above to let the light in. Another little fan up top. Some more storage. I mean, this has a lot to offer, and this gives you a lot of room. And then obviously, if you never want to, or you didn't want to, you could just leave it closed and have the smaller bathroom, but I'm a fan of the large. So overall, great unit. I know the the mileage is pretty low on it. I forget what it is. I'm I'd like to say it's something something really really low, like 500 miles or something stupid like that. So it's a great price, great unit, and I'm not seeing any issues with it, inside, outside, anything like that. So let me know if you're interested.